Hey, what's going on, everyone? Ari Bassanger, or Chris Brez, and Mike Rogers uh, out here on Berryessa. Uh, they just opened up uh, last weekend. Last weekend, yeah. Yeah, last weekend. Uh, so we decided to come out, trying to get some, you know, fall fishing in, and we definitely did that. Um, water temps range from about 65 to, I think the warmest I saw was like 70.3, 70.4. Um, kind of did some junk fishing today. We didn't have any like real game plan by any means. We just came out to go fishing. Um, yeah. He hasn't been here in about a year and a half. Something like that. And I haven't been here since March, big, beginning, middle of March. So, uh, but yeah, we just came out and try to find them. Just yeah. Go go out and do a, do a bunch of junk fishing. Throw everything you can and try to put a pattern together. I really don't think there was a pattern. <laughs> Not really. But some here, some there. Yeah, um, I mean, we caught them on a kind of an assortment of baits. I mean, top water, um, you know, finesse. You know, I, I was throwing the the candy grenades dart with the Exo and Deception worm on it. A rig. Uh, a rig. Uh, what else? Did I mention top water? Uh, yeah, you did. Yeah, you, we. Uh, <laughs> you threw a spook. I threw a Sammy. Yep. Um, just uh, kind of junk fished. I mean, it was caught oh, some on, on, uh, on a spoon too. Yeah. yeah. Um, the big thing for us today was just typically for the fall they. For me, at least, I find them like they're starting to push the bait in the back of coves and whatnot. Uh, we tried that this morning, and actually all out through the yeah, throughout the day, just trying to maybe get ahead of them. Um, but none of them, none of them went there. So we were just catching them on main lake points, uh, deep water. I mean, most of our top water fish were probably over. I'd say the shallowest one was maybe 30 foot, and the deepest one he caught a uh, smallmouth oh, actually man. over 126 feet of water. And so. it absolutely amazes me I, that they're out there in the middle of the stuff coming up and doing rather than up along the shores. And we didn't get nothing back into the bays. We got them on the points going into the bays, yep. and and every time he got back in there, just realizing anything, they go back out on the points and boom. So, so yeah. So there's a little quick update. Um, that we were just throwing main, mainly most of our fish came on a rigs. Uh, we did catch a couple on jigs. A rig was fun. Yeah, m mainly a rigs. We we probably caught. Thank you, Rob Clark. Yeah, Rob, we beat beat the snot out of them. I'm gonna need a couple more. <laughs> yeah, so, <we> did. <laughs> um, but yeah, a rigs. Uh, I'm just throwing you know three uh, three inch uh, Zone swammers on there. Um, something you can just move fast and cover a lot of water, and then you find them congregated. You'll you'll pull up on one point or one you know flat and it's all it's boom 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 and then it shuts off yeah and i was uh throwing the four threes with the three ats or so yeah they were they were hitting almost uh, almost anything yep so yep so it definitely didn't really matter as long as you just yeah. dedicated the time with it and but i think we ended up catching a lot <laughs> I'd, say, I'd say the total today is probably between somewhere between 40 and 50 fish yeah yeah um and all i mean all day long it wasn't just a morning thing i mean um, you had to work for it. Uh, by by no means it was just a constant thing. There, yeah. there are some places you went in and you just had absolutely nothing. Uh, yeah, I mean we we, we would go yeah. you know hour hour and a half without a bite, yeah. and then you just pull up the right stuff and it, boom, it, boom, it, boom 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 boom. Yeah. So um, yeah, so just a heads up though with the the fires that went on here, uh, Markley Cove does not open till eight o'clock, um, and I did talk to them this morning. Even with the time change coming, they are not going to switch it. They're still going to be at eight o'clock. Um, Capel's open, and I don't know if Steel Canyon or, or Puta is, but I know Capel's open for sure. Capel's a long way around because that's, they have like uh, three stops that were there, narrows down into one yep. on several places because everything sloughed off and burned out. So, yeah, so it takes a little while to get back in there. So we just stuck it out here. And, yeah, and, we, and, just, we just waited. Yeah. Uh, we got here at like 7.15 or like it's going to take us 40 minutes to drive over to Capel or just yeah. wait, you know wait the 40 minutes here but uh so yeah there's a quick quick little wrap up today is october 30th um and those that are susceptible to smoke like i am it's still smoky here yeah i had to wear a mask this afternoon so yeah so the smoke kind of <coughs> hit or miss um it was it was pretty good the air quality was pretty good this morning um but we got a little slight breeze and it pushed it right back in so yeah. the narrows narrows did all right i mean you can see it out here but the main lake was smoked so. yep so all right that's a wrap and we'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.